Hello, this is Dragon's Dogma Dark Carison, and today we are doing a Merry Christmas. A Christmas video. So I was thinking long and hard about what I would like to do as a Christmas video, and I was thinking so long and so hard that I kind of ran out of time. So as you can see, uh, today is the 22nd of December and it's almost 11 p.m., which leaves me with 48, 49 hours and two and a half minutes, a little bit less, to record the footage, edit the video and post it on YouTube. But anyway, we have to get on with our stuff. So because I'm not Christmas ready, I imagine that many people are also not Christmas ready. So in this spirit, what uh, I would like to do today is to show you how to get super OP so you can be Christmas ready. What we will be doing is a Dragon's Dogma run with essentially no rules. We will be glitching, at least cheesing, probably even cheating. So uh, buckle up because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Do I have a plan for this video? Kinda. Did I think it through? Mm, kinda. Do I know what I'm doing? Kinda. So without further ado, uh, let's start the game. Okay, so we're gonna go to the mine menu and we're gonna start a new game. We're gonna accept all the terms and conditions. As a difficulty, we're going to select normal because uh, we are not playing on easy mode. However, uh, hard mode is not available to us yet. And we're going to skip everything we can. You a light we don't need our pawn, so we're going to throw him into the pit and we're going to run. The idea is to skip most of the tutorial over here because we do not need it. Okay, the worst part comes now because there are some fights that we will have to take over here but don't worry about it it'll be fine straight into the fire we're gonna have a fried chicken okay i think our chicken is almost done we're just gonna throw in some spices and let's go okay i have a foolproof strategy to fight the chimera at the end over here Okay, so now let me create a character. Okay, we are ready. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna skip all the cutscenes. The important thing uh, in character creation will be that the character is tall. I would advise around 180 centimeters tall um, because one, 170, 175 may be a little bit too short uh, for what we need to do later. We are going to select Mage Vocation, talk with Kina, and we're gonna get out of here. Actually, do this, and now we're gonna unequip it. Um, that's unnecessary character uh, or um, equipment load on us. We will not be relying on equipment because uh, our strength and power comes comes from within. Uh, we are going to withdraw stuff from deposit. Uh, yeah, the list ones are fine. This is fine. We're gonna take all this, all this, this, and all the rings. We're gonna go to the store here. We're gonna have a chat with the lady, and we are going to sell first. Let's keep all those things. That's fine. Find luring essence is vital to what we want to do. So we're definitely gonna keep it. All this can go, however, feel f feel free to leave if you want something. And over here, all the rings can go and we're just gonna leave the stuff bare ring, everything else goes. Now, we're gonna buy from her. She is uh, loaded with stuff. The main thing that we came for is all the throw blasts we can carry. You can buy more and store them, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna store most of ours anyway four can go so we're gonna stay with 20 of us that should be more than enough okay let's give this talk with the granddad 
Uh, yeah, actually we can run through this cutscene. So let's do it. We're gonna go over here. And we are going to ignore Reynard for now. We do not need him. Um, at least we don't need him now. We will be helping him later. Okay. Uh, at this stage we can equip the Stuff Bearer Ring. Because it gives us a better fireball. And now we're gonna go and have a chat with the stone. We're gonna agree to whatever they want from us. And we're gonna go out. We'll try to catch up to the peloton. Keep all the cutscenes you can. Run to this guy. And we're done. This um, death cutscene we cannot skip. Uh, however, we should be able to skip another one with the uh, mysterious hooded person. We don't care about them. They're not important to us or to the plot. And we're gonna go back and have a chat with the stone again. Um, this will allow us to create our pawn, which is great. We always wanted a pawn. Let's have him as a fighter. Okay, we're gonna say bye. It's time to go back to Casardis. I'm gonna skip another cutscene and we're gonna go straight into the inn. As you do in real life. Uh, no, we wanna rest until nightfall. And for those who uh, watched some of the previous Dragon's Dogma videos on this channel will know where we are going. Is that the fate you've chosen of your own will? And yes, it is a <laughs> BBI. First order of business, we're gonna take a rook and our also not Santa and throw them into the water because they need a bath and they are not ready for uh, what's coming. We're gonna have a chat with her and say never mind, that's fine. And we're gonna take all the quests from the uh, notice board and now we run. We can pick a curative or two on the way. It's fine, we will definitely need them, because it's Dragon's Dogma after all, so it's not like you can do this game hitless. Uh, I would like to take this, thank you, this, thank you, and now, this, thank you, and now we're gonna avoid all the wolves, jump in here and let them do the work for us, because we don't do enough damage to destroy the crates, now we're just gonna do now this, grab the ledge, uh, get down, run through the cutscene behind the death, and we are out. Okay, now we're gonna have a chat with this guy very quick. Now, will you have a look? No. That's fine. Uh, he will give us a few levels, which is very important, and we are going to buy the mortar talisman. That's very important as well. Okay, now we don't want to kill anything. Because the amount of experience is kind of important over here. What we want to do is squeeze in here. Those are moonbeam doors. In order to open them, we need to get a moonbeam gem. Moonbeam gem uh, will be available after we get a void key. So we have to go to the midnight helix, run all the way up, get the void key, get out, then come here. There's a door uh, right there. Open the door, run through one area, which is rather easy, um, but without getting killed, right? Then uh, we have to get to Warrior's Respite, I think the area is called. This is where uh, Baroque is uh, showing next time after this area. And this is where the first Moonbeam gem is. And then we can take it, bring it here and use it on one of the doors. So there's door here, here. Up there, three here, one there, and there's one just there. There is, however, a glitch in uh, Dragon's Dogma that allows you to get through door, uh, be it the Moonbeam door or just any other door that's, you know, locked for which, for example, you need a skeleton key. In order to do it, you need some kind of crates. The best one is to have at least one barrel and some kind of um, another barrel or a crate like this, right? Or even a smaller crate, crate will do it. So we're gonna put um, the first item in here, or so the first barrel in here, and then we're gonna go into it because the barrel, for some reason, when you hold another barrel, doesn't have any collision. And we'll start to jump 
and wiggle our camera a little and sooner or later you should be able to glitch through the door just like this now I did it and you can also grab the barrel from the other side so and there are also bar barrels inside so you can get out as well uh, why we pick this door is because it has a ring of perseverance which is very nice because it uh, ba -ba 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 increases the discipline earned by the wearer it doubles it there's an option to have two of those rings or even more but uh, we will not be getting into this yet however the important thing is that what you want to do right is make sure that the character that you create is tall and by tall i mean somewhere around 100 80 centimeters it will make clipping through the door way easier right so we're gonna do the same thing here that also happens but don't worry because uh, the game will bring you back It's not like the old the old games where you go out of bound out of bounds and then you fall in infinite infinitely. Uh, this one has dragon's ire, so all the uh, chests over here have a set loot. However, you have to take this barrel and um, take it there. If you run out of barrels, there are some crates over here. Um, there is a barrel on the other side near the entrance there. Ah, come on. Bloody reindeers. Okay, cool. I'm gonna kill this one very quick because we kinda... we don't need to... We'll be killing them anyway. The moonbeam doors that are here under the arc and where the fire is, we won't be able to access uh, because there are no barrels that we can use over there. The doors that are there, where the end of the stuff is, they can be accessed. There is a dragon roost over there, uh, however, we don't need it, so we're not gonna be we're not gonna be accessing them. So let me show you what we got. We got uh, this, uh, which is a very nice item, right? It gives us some increases to magic defense, like a lot, like 100 to magic defense, um, 50, no, sorry, around 70, 60, 70 to uh, defense. However, we do not need to use it because, as said, our power doesn't come from items, it comes from within. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna kill as many of those animals as possible. And the reason is, it's not because we're cruel or anything, it's because we need a specific thing. And we are looking for thousands of discipline points. We have the uh, Ring of Persever Perseverance, which essentially doubles the amount of discipline points that we get. Uh, and small creatures are the best to get as much discipline points as possible because they give less experience also additional thing is that we don't want to level up too much so we want to stay ideally at level 10 so we have only one level to go in order to get 1000 discipline points the reason why we need 1000 discipline points because we want to change into sorcerer vocation as soon as possible the soonest that we can change to the sorcerer vocation is at level 10 I'm gonna grab all the uh, possible curatives items from the from the chests over here. There would be one that I would really like to get. It's not here on this level. It's uh, over there, up there. Um, but we can go and we can go and get it now because we are done with all the fauna that um, used to inhabit the um, lower level of this map. There's gonna be a few spiders to kill. Watch out for snakes. We are poisoned, but we don't really care about it now. We can Mithridate. Uh, so Mithridate is... See, Mithridate, a type of herb that grows uh, throughout grasses. Continue it to... Uh, consume it. Continue it. Con consume it to purge the body of poisons. 
Uh, we don't need to do it because we have Helen. So we're just gonna wait for the for the poison to uh, leave our body naturally, as you do after your Christmas party. So here we can find the item that I want, and I, th I think I will actually get it. So yeah, let me say scum for it. Nice. Recluse rope, recru like recluse's rope is what I wanted. Um, the reason why it's not because it looks nice. It's because it's shit. <laughs> I mean, no, maybe it's not shit. Uh, it has nice blind um, resistance. That's, um, I think, magic debilitation. So it um, lowers your magic either attack or defense. This lowers your defense. Uh, however, it has minus resistances to poison sleep and this is uh, skill stiffening i think uh, piercing and striking resistance minus one we get only 60 as compared to this one we get 100 right 60 increase to magic defense and we are getting like what 20 defense uh it's not an ideal piece of equipment but um let me show you that we can do it even you know with something that's not good so uh, another thing that I want to show you very quick is that if you go here, actually, maybe it would be good to take off the recluse's rope for now because uh, our poison resistance uh, in it is very low and we would like to get rid of poison. So yeah, we're going to grab it. There is a um, gather spot over here. You can get rift fragments and um, those kinds of things. It's very nice. We can put our outfit back. And now we're gonna jump down here, here, and we're gonna grab the macabre, macabre, macabre sculpture. Wh why am I putting L over there? I have no idea. Hi, right, bunny. Oh, and there's another macabre sculpture just here. So the way to get it, just jump here, here, and we we have it. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have a chat with Barok. It's the guy who's up there. And I'm going to leave all the stuff that I don't need with him. Uh, it's going to be... Oh, okay, it's going to be quite a lot of it. However, there's one thing that we definitely want to uh, want to buy. Oh, and we can also do this. Look. Uh, curative. We're going to grab this. We're going to grab this. And we're going to grab oil. Because it's quite uh, useful. So first, we're gonna sell things like Dragon Iron, which is almost 400,000. Dragon's Glaze, which is almost 600,000. Wooden Wall, which we'll never use anyway. Trophy Jacket, which is 600,000. Uh, Ring of Onyx, what does it do anyway? Ah, uh, okay, so it's the uh, resistance against darkness. Uh, let, let's leave it. I, I like it. Uh, but let's sell those things. And now we have uh, 1.7 million G, uh, which is probably gold. Um, we could sell this, but maybe later on we want to wear it. I don't know. And what we're going to buy from him is the common arch stuff. This is the weapon for, for a sorcerer. We are mage at the moment, but we want to become a sorcerer and we will need a weapon. Without this weapon, we won't be able to fight. So uh, make sure you get it. Now I'm going to leave all the equipment that I don't need in the deposit. And then I'm going to run back to BBI Harbor. The only thing that we need to do on the way is to make sure that we hit level 10 and that we have a thousand discipline points. The best way to do it, I think, uh, especially when you're mage, is to either use throw blasts or that what I do. I'm just gonna fireball some of those guys. But uh, the place where I want, where I'd like to do it from, is here because it allows for um, for an easy extraction should we need it. I'm just gonna queue up on the fireball. And shoot him straight in the face. I'm gonna do the same to those guys. 
will be... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get your stamina back. Thank you. We don't need anything more. Let's go. We should have enough discipline po discipline points uh, by now anyway. And 200. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to have a chat uh, with Orla over here. And we are going to change vocation to Sorcerer. Nice. We're definitely going to change equipment. And we will see if we can learn any skills. Nice. That's not so bad. Uh, I would go either for Thunder Boon or Levin. I think I'm going to go for Levin. Was there anything better that... No. And what we can do now as well is take another quest. This is for the sculptures. And we can pu request purification. Just purify whatever if you have enough rift currency. For now, my course this will give you friend. another quest and a little bit of experience. I'm going to take the quest for Abyssal Eye. Now we are level what? 12? 12. And what we are going to do is we're going to go back to, uh, mid not Midnight Helix, we're going to go back to uh, Dusk Moon Tower. And uh, from there, we're going to go to Rotunda of Dread. Make sure when you do it that you have Thin Luring Incense and Throw Blasts. 18 should be more than, uh, more than enough. I'm just gonna edit it out. Uh, by the way, one more thing that I want to mention: with the amount of money that we have now, we can buy a water, not, maybe not whatever we want, but we can buy a lot of things from uh, Baroque over here. So we can buy all the all the uh, armor that we want if we want anything, or if you even just want, you know, a little bit of um, Dragon's Dogma fashion. Anyway. So let's talk very quickly about Rotunda of Dread. There's Rotunda of Dread and uh, I want to say Black Abbey. I'm not sure if that's the case. However, there are two places in this game, Rotunda of Dread being one of them, where the enemies will change, right? So the way that they change is that every time you enter, there is a chance to get one of few encounters, right? Now with Fiend Luring Essence, the type of enemies also change and they kind of scale up so they become tougher. And there will be three, three available to us. The one is Dragons, the other one is Chained Cyclopses, and the third one is Eliminators and Elder Ogres. And the third one is the one that we want. So we're going to get in. We're going to see if we get the encounter that we want. If we don't, we're just going to get out, enter again. And we will be doing this until we get the third encounter. Let's go in then and see. Wow, first try. Very good. Uh, important thing, drop a save. No, let me explain. There are three Elder Ogres, three Eliminators, and three sirens. The sirens are over here. Oh, here we go. You have uh, first contestant. So what we want to do with Elden, uh, Elden, Elden Ring, Elder Ogres, is to bait them over here, right? And once they s smell you, they're gonna do this. And now he's gonna jump down. Now he's gonna uh, pick himself up dust himself off and do the same thing again. Eliminators are, are a little bit trickier to handle, but there is, let's say, if, a semi-safe way to handle them. Okay, I think we came here with level 12, right? So just remember 12. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to save. I'm gonna call over one of the sirens, um, preferably the one that's the closest to us. So the way to call them over is just to send a fireball their way. For some reason they cannot resist fire and they're gonna come here. The, now, uh, what you may want to do at this stage is grab your um, throw blast or just grab a crate. So two throw blasts 
should get rid of a siren, right? Or we can do it with one well-aimed crate throw and then another one well-aimed siren throw. What I mean by this, I will explain soon. Oh, here she is. Okay, so now let's be careful and try to throw this at her. Very nice. We're going to grab the siren and we will take her with us. What we essentially want to do is throw her like this, grab her again, and then we're going to fit her, fit, fit her, fit her into the pit that's there. Now, very good. It was a very nice shot. Drop a save and I'm going to do the same with um, the other two sirens. If I don't manage to feed them to the pit, uh, I will probably just destroy them with throw blasts. It doesn't matter as uh, far as they are dead, they uh, we are okay. Okay, with all three sirens gone, we can get in the actual meat of our meal. This will be Eliminators and Elden Ogres. Elden, er, Elder Ogres. So, some of them may not want to go with us, that's fine. We just have to be, we just have to avoid being um, killed by them. Eliminators are kind of easy to avoid. Um, if they are running at you, if you uh, avoid them to their left, so you go right, um, so where the hammer and isn't you're gonna be fine we will try to show how to get rid of uh the eliminator it's a little bit tricky oh i think that the rogue is actually coming first let him yeah come on boy yeah you know what you want good boy okay okay cool he's gonna jump in right on it on the, and we're gonna go down and he should be because of the proximity he will be doing this attack and he's gonna fall down this is what we want so every fall takes half of their health. This one will probably charge at us. That's fine. We don't care. Um, if he gets stuck in the roots over there, that's fine. We can get them out. Um, the way to get them out is to save the game, right? And then jump. Uh, so basically Kermit Sudoku. Uh, you can jump over there or over there. There is a, um, uh, there's a pit. And once you retry, nice. Once you retry, uh, their position will reset, so they will be back. Uh, so yeah, don't panic if they are there. You don't have to use all your throw blasts. You may, if you don't want to use, uh, you know, the um, uh, the quitting out. You may want to use your throw blasts. However, make sure that you bring more because they are quite tanky. That's not good. Okay, at least he didn't kill us. No, 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 no. no. Okay, start mushing. See ya. Okay, so remember we came here with level 12. Oh, Rift Ball. We don't have much time left until Christmas. So let's we'll just get some curatives and go because Santa needs us. Okay, to perform next trick, we will need at least one lift stone. If you don't have it, it's not a big deal, uh, but it's uh, it's better to have it. Um, what we're gonna do as well, yeah, we can use this. And then oh, one good thing that we can do is uh, learn skill from uh, Baroque. And instead of going to the uh, offensive, we're gonna learn levitate uh, over here. In augments, there's nothing really that we need at this stage because we can reduce damage sustained in uh, magic attacks. That's okay, but at this stage, not really something that we would like. Enables you to negotiate higher prices for items and equipment you sell. Mm. We have a lot of money and there's no need for us to do it. And augments the power of magic attack designed to knock down uh, foes that's nice however it's not super essential we can go for example instead for holy Boon, which is fantastic high ingo which uh, is better known as fireball we can get get high 11 however will we will we use it now i don't think so 
uh, high miasma is fine however it's not needed yet uh, we're gonna change the skills yeah and we will make sure that we put holy boon on because we will use it now the next area where we want to go is a midnight helix however in order to get to midnight helix we have to go here first and here is word of regret the, the first thing that's very useful here is the flask uh, the oil flask or flask of oil um, it's nice to have because uh, the light is very nice uh, we're gonna levitate over grab this guy and we're gonna feed him to the pit and we're also gonna feed this guy to the pit skeleton key over here and now we can move on with our lives so for those guys over here we're gonna use the old um, and well-known strategy of uh, exploding barrels boom and there's a sculpture over here Oop. okay there there are kind of few approaches that you may want to do over here what um so you can kill everything of course uh, i wouldn't be trying with this guy but uh, if you feel you know super enthusiastic and just go for it but you can kill s some guys over here and then go to the end grab the void key and run kill everything uh methodically grab the void key and then get away uh what we will do is kill some of the guys grab the void key and then uh, lift some away. So we'll let them, uh, yeah, do the fireball. And this, so this guy does fireballs. We're gonna let them do one. And we're gonna avoid it. And then we're gonna sit him down. Now at this stage, I would be very careful. Uh, and make sure not to go too far, especially on this bridge. So I, uh, you may want to prepare your fireball and aim like, between those two lungs over there. And then high up, there's a skeleton mage over there. Um, he's not very visible, but you know, I'll be like aiming, let's say center mass or something. I'm not sure what the correct term is. And just release it and you should hit him. This will make him, for some reason, go towards you. I don't know why, but he does that. So you're gonna prepare another volley of fireballs for him. So we're gonna drop a safe and then we are going to make our way all the way up. Grab the key and we go. Okay, in this stage we should have some more uh, discipline points which allow us to buy more skills. Uh, I say let's get uh, knockdown foes, high level. Let's get dark boom because we may need, we may you not need it, but we will use it at some stage. High miasma, yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Let's get it. Now we're gonna go um, to Dusk Moon Tower and use our Void Key. Okay, we're gonna mostly run through this area. That's the key to it. First order of business, we're going up here. To the Warrior's Respite. Interesting things over here is Healing Spring. Always nice. But before you get out, just jump over here then over here and then to the side and you're gonna find another sculpture this is first of all this is where baroque is right and this is the place where first moonbeam gem is so if you wanted to get into the moonbeam door you know using legitimate means this is the first moonbeam gem there is a lift stone some throw blasts that we will definitely need i would advise around 30 maybe take with you 40 to be safe we definitely want to take mortar talisman with us uh, throw blasts yes we're just gonna uh, run through those guys we will be having a fight now
Okay, so what we're gonna do is run all the way down and we'll be waiting for a very specific thing. So what we want to do until then is avoid getting hit essentially. That's what we're waiting for. That's gonna be first and then on the second one we want to be underneath the eye. That's, that's what's gonna happen. Now we're gonna whip out our throw blasts and we will start throwing them. Oh. That's fine, it's okay. We have enough throw blasts. Now to avoid this, just turn your back to the light and you're gonna be golden. Okay, let me get ready. Okay, nice. Now we just want to go hum. But keep an eye on the health bar. It's very important. Okay, we can afford one more. Okay, cool. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, he mad. Okay, now, get ready. We don't have to be super fast, so it's better to be precise than fast over here. Oh, he doesn't do it. Oh, that's fine then. Ah, no, he does. Yeah. So it's better to be precise than fast. Uh, four should do. Four throw blasts. Now we're going to avoid this. We're going to come in here. The first thing that we want to pop is Mortar's Talisman, because it doubles the amount of experience that we get. Now, we want to do this. And we'll be looking for the drops. Yeah, uh, Abyssal Eye, nice. That's extra experience for us, very good. And without losing any time, we're gonna go all the way here. So we wanna leave this area as soon as possible. Now, what we're gonna see over here is uh, our friend. We're gonna have a chat with him. I'm very quick, and we are going to deposit things that we don't need with us. Okay, and now we're gonna run in this way. We don't need to open the shortcut, it's fine. We are going to put down or put away our lantern and we're gonna go into the next area. Okay, get over here, jump down, take no damage because of the cutscene, wait for death to meet with the bridge, move in here, get on the bridge, select the throw blast and throw it, and keep throwing, and keep throwing, and keep throwing. Profit. I can also also show you how to handle Banshee, for example. Okay, so now we essentially have um, an option. We can do many things. We we could go and try to fight Curse Dragons. However, there are two uh, over there, and by over there, I mean uh, Black Abbey which is another place like Rotunda of Dread. I hope it's Black Abbey, because if not, it's going to be embarrassing. But hey, 
um, we can essentially not do uh, any more of BBI and we can go and do a little bit of uh, the main game, which wouldn't be such a bad idea considering that we can do a little bit of shopping in Grand Soren. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna grab our pawn. And we're going back to Casardis. Now we are in the encampment and um, the way forward is to have a chat with Mercedes and we're gonna do that and we're gonna rest. We're gonna get attacked by Hydra and we'll try to waste it as soon as possible. Oh, that's fine, we can handle this. Let's get one of the heads. We're gonna accept, and our next stop is the um, that way castle, halfway castle. Okay, we're gonna use the rift stone, and we are going to get a pawn that's a mage and that has healing. The only reason why we want them is for the curative magic. We could do it ourselves, but for that we'll have to uh, go back to mage and uh, we don't want to lose mage levels. So we want to kick the ox in the way that when it goes it does this to us, yeah. So it inflicts damage on us. Okay, nice. So with us being damaged, that's how we're gonna heal the ox. Because every time we kick the ox, it takes damage. And we are in Grand Soren. Gonna skip all the dialogue. Oh yeah, Focus Bolt and uh, Magic Agent. Definitely gonna take them. Thank you. Holy Affinity, yes please. Let's get Dark Affinity, it's fine. Now let's do real shopping. So what we need to find, or who we need to find, is this gentleman here. And we're gonna buy from him. So look at this, Conqueror Periapts, Angels Periapts, Demon Periapts, Mages Periapts, Monks, Boost Magic, yeah we're gonna buy all of it. So what we are going to do, is we're gonna save and return to title screen. And we're gonna do the same thing, but in hard mode. Okay, so we uh, went to the encampment, we grabbed our pawn, and now we are back in Casardis. Again, we are resting at the inn, and now we are out and we are going to BBI. We are level 60, what, 2 now? So with the hard mode experience increase and um, our strategy, we should be leveling quite quick. We are running out of time. We have 24 and a half hours. Oh, let's get going. Duskmoon Tower. We want to make sure that we have Ring of Perseverance with us and Wind Luring Incense. What we're gonna do first is clip for another Ring of Perseverance. For some reason in this game, they do stack. We can equip instead of star stuff bearing. And we're gonna get out of here. Now remember, because we are playing on hard mode now, hard mode now the enemies are tougher and we are uh, burning more stamina with our attacks. We're gonna grab the skeleton key because it will open the, the cells over here. However, we are going to clip into one of them first and we are going to clip into this one there. So we're gonna do it the same way. 
And into this one here, we can clip in. However, it is better to open it with the skeleton key. You will see why very, very soon. Oh, ho, ho, get one shotted, boy. Nice, well done. I think if we open this, yeah, this is very short. Okay, let's see if we can kill them through. Oh yeah, <laughs> get wrecked. Okay, now we can make a jump over here, no problem. Okay, now we should be able to learn Melstorm. Yeah! Let's see what else we have. Yep. Yeah, let's have it. Let's get this as well because we don't have anything better at the moment. One important thing as well, my mortar talisman. Very important. I think uh, you know where we are going now. It, it will take us some time, but we can do it. Because those guys usually have a very tasty loot. Like BBI armor level 2. Oh, look at this boy there. I'm gonna send him to the moon. Dragon's Dogma Space Program. Don't do it. Okay, so now I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but uh, with the rogers, eliminators, and sirens. First of all, High Milestorm, very useful, and then Articulacy. 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 As soon as we have 9000 discipline points. Uh, that's why we are sporting two, not one, but two uh, Rings of Perseverance. Uh, we're gonna definitely get this. Let's go back to the Midnight Helix because there's something that we uh, didn't do over there. No, oh, look, everybody's back. <laughs> okay, why do you hate me so much? And we're done here. Diminishes the time required to intone any spell. That's very nice. Greatly aug augments your magic. We need to get this as well. I don't know why I forgot about this. Okay, for this, we're gonna run.
Okay, we have one more enemy to go. Okay, that's that, and we can do one more thing. from 769 to 922. This is considering that we still have the old stuff for the sorcerers. So for the sorcerers, what we can also do. So hello dragon. I'm here for two GZ, one turbo full exhaust. We want to fucking Yuta Subra. Extra thousand. Okay, so at this stage I think you know what to do. Pretty much whatever you want. You can go and finish the base game, go and finish the BBI. You are essentially Christmas ready. Well, let me know in the comments if you want me to finish this run. With this, I wish you happy holidays. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one.